Hey there, it's Eric Johnson from Airtate Throws Nation and today and what we're going to talk about in this quick video is understanding how to create a better pivot in the middle for rotational throwing. So whether it's the discus or the shot put, we have to be very conscious of a couple of things. One of the simplest things we talk about or we teach or a simple concept to help young throwers is you want to make sure that you, when you're coming through and you're creating rotation that we understand that we're always having to move on top of the axis and we want to create that nice right foot pivot. This is something a lot of throwers have a hard time with and one of the reasons is very simple. Athletes are coming into the middle and this heel, they settle, they sink. When the heel comes down, you create this kind of a reach. If the heel is coming up, you're rotating the hips as a unit into the throw and then this will continue to rotate through the delivery. The One of the biggest mistakes young throwers make or throwers even at the collegiate level is that you'll see they come in and they settle and once you settle you're creating this drift now you can look at videos and there are some elite throwers and that heel does come down lower so you have to pay attention some of these guys are uh, super tall and they have some some their own interesting dynamics and how they move but you're going to see that heel appear to come down but it doesn't really stall most people are not going to recover from a low heel so the thing that you basically want to always understand is a really simple way, whether it's the shot, is once we're here, we're really getting that heel up. That heel up creates faster lower body rotation and you have the timing and there's variables and ways to approach it. But a real simple thing is as you come in, you want to land and you want that heel to be elevating as it's rotating into the delivery. When that heel comes down and it settles, that's the slowing of lower body rotation and that's deceleration through the delivery and faster acceleration through delivery is what translates to bigger throws. So next time you go out and throw or you're looking at your videos, pay attention, is your foot coming down too low and are you decelerating going into your finish? Try to make sure that you prevent that heel from coming low and rotating low. You wanna feel that thing rotating up which is gonna move you into the delivery and help you produce better throws. Hopefully if you found this video helpful, be sure to check out airtatethrowsnation.com. We have free videos available. Give us a like below and uh, be sure to subscribe if you find this helpful to see more videos like this in the future. Thanks so much.